Jeffrey Lamont Holder, August 20, 1930, October 5, 2014, was a Trinidadian American actor, choreographer, dancer, painter, singer, and Tony Award winning stage director and costume designer. He was known for of the height, 6 feet 6 in, hearty laugh, and heavily accented bass voice combined with precise diction. From his film career, he is particularly remembered as the villain Baron Samity in the 1973 Bond movie Live and Let Die. Early life, one of four children, of parents who had immigrated to the United States from Trinidad, Holder attended Tranquility School and then secondary school at Queen's Royal College in Port of Spain. At the age of seven, he made his debut in the dance company of his elder brother Bosco Holder, from whom he had been receiving lessons in dancing and painting. Career In 1952, choreographer Agnes de Mille saw Jeffrey Holder dance in St. Thomas. She invited him to New York, he would teach at the Catherine Dunham School of Dance for two years. Holder was a principal dancer with the Metropolitan Opera Ballet in New York City from 1955 to 1956. He made his Broadway debut in House of Flowers, a musical by Harold Arlen, Music and Lyrics, and Truman Capote, Lyrics and Book. He also starred in an all-black production of Waiting for Godot in 1957. Holder began his movie career in the 1962 British film All Night Long, a modern remake of Shakespeare's Othello. He followed that with Dr. Dolittle, 1967, as Willie Shakespeare, leader of the natives of Sea Star Island. In 1972, he was cast as the sorcerer in Everything You Always Wanted to Know About Sex. The following year he was a henchman, Baron Samity, in the Bond movie Live and Let Die. He contributed to the film's choreography. In addition to his movie appearances, Holder became a spokesman for the 1970s and 1980s 7-Up Soft Drink and Cola and 1980s Crisp and Clean, and No Caffeine and Never Had It, Never Will Advertising campaigns. In 1975, Holder won two Tony Awards for direction and costume design of The Wiz, the all-black musical version of The Wizard of Ounces Holder was the first black man to be nominated in either category. He won the Drama Desk Award for Outstanding Costume Design. The show ran for 1,672 performances. As a choreographer, Holder created dance pieces for many companies including the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater, for which he provided choreography, music, and costumes for Prodigal Prince, 1967, and the Dance Theater of Harlem, for which he provided choreography, music, and costumes for Douglas, 1974, and designed costumes for Firebird, 1982. In 1978, Holder directed and choreographed the Broadway musical Timbo II. Holder's 1957 piece Bull is part of the Dance Theater of Harlem repertory. In the 1982 film Annie, Holder played the role of Punjab. He was in the 1992 film Boomerang with Eddie Murphy. He was also the voice of Ray and Bear in The Big Blue House, and provided narration for Tim Burton's version of Roald Dahl's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. He reprised his role as the 7-Up spokesman in the 2011 season finale of The Celebrity Apprentice, where he appeared as himself in a commercial for 7-Up Retro for Marley Madeline's team. Holder was a prolific painter. Patrons of his art included Lena Horne and William F. Buckley, Jr., ardent art collector, book author, and music composer. As a painter, he won a Guggenheim Fellowship in Fine Arts in 1956. 
a book of his photography, Adam, was published by Viking Press in 1986. Personal Life In 1955, Holder married dancer Carmen de Lavillade, whom he met when both were in the cast of the musical House of Flowers. They lived in New York City and had one son, Leo. They were the subject of a 2004 film, Carmen and Jeffrey. His elder brother Bosco Holder was a renowned dancer, choreographer, and artist. His nephew was Christian Holder, Bosco's son, who has also won acclaim as a dancer, choreographer, and entertainer. Death Jeffrey Holder died in Manhattan of complications from pneumonia on October 5, 2014, aged 84. His immediate survivors were his wife, Carmen, and their son Leo.